What is up you guys, Dennis Garcia here. How the hell is everybody doing? I'm also wearing a hat today, which I know I said I got a haircut so I wouldn't have to wear hats, but it felt like a hat day. My hair, while it can be done up and styled, I just didn't want to do it. I just wanted to wear a hat and have a little lazy day. However, I've had quite a busy morning. I woke up like around eight o'clock in the morning uh, place an order to go to Target to pick up some stuff that I needed, like coffee, because I was almost out of coffee, almost out of milk, needed to buy some grapes and goat cheese and dressing, because I really want to get back to eating salads again and kind of putting myself in a calorie deficit so that I can start losing weight again. And just trying to get back to like having self-control and <laughs> trying to lose weight but I went to do some early morning shopping and then I went to the Apple store today because I upgraded my phone. I have the new um, iPhone 15 Pro Max in the natural titanium. Um, it is such a cool phone. Like I love this little like brushed aluminum on the sides. It's just like really cool. And like, I don't know. I had the iPhone 14, which is not worth the upgrade, but with the trade-in and the specials they had, I pretty much got it for free. So I told myself, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's, let's pull the trigger and get the new iPhone. So far, I like it. I've only had it for about five hours. Been like setting up everything, downloading my apps, making sure that everything is on my phone again. And now, I'm gonna go to downtown to do a little workout, another four to five miles today, and make myself a to-go cup of coffee so that I can drink it while I drive to downtown and while I walk around and have a nice little walk. It's nice out. I think right now it is, what is the weather? 79 degrees. The high is 80, which is not terrible, but, um, yeah, we're, we're gonna go work out. We're gonna go work out and then go to work for a couple of hours and um, just try to stay awake because I'm fucking tired. So hopefully we can stay awake long enough to uh, feel accomplished. I'm gonna go make myself my coffee and then I'm gonna go to downtown to work out and I will see you guys later. What is up you guys? How the fuck are we doing? It is 10.26 in the morning. I have my Dutch Bros coffee today. I was gonna make coffee at home, but I got a free coffee yesterday because they had this like mystery point thingy where if you bought something at Dutch Bros yesterday, there's a chance you could have got like a lot of points or you could have got a free drink. And I was one of the people that got a free drink. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna shower, get ready for my day go run errands, and before I start all of my errands, I'm gonna go get a free coffee. And today we got a salted caramel mocha with soft top and hazelnut. Right now I am in the parking lot of the Phoenix Premium Outlet. It's gonna go to the, to the Levi's store right now because I heard they're having a sale and they have a lot of shirts on sale. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I am actually like, a huge Levi's fan. All of my t-shirts that are like t-shirts, t-shirts, they're all Levi's. Every single t-shirt I own is Levi's. And so we're gonna go do a little bit of shopping, maybe, maybe buy like four or five shirts, depending on like how much they are. Uh, but then after that, we're gonna go to Target and then Trader Joe's, gotta go wash my car. Just gotta go run some errands, do a little bit of maintenance on life and a little refresh on our products. Um, I'll show you a little haul of what I get later on, but right now I'm gonna go take my coffee I'm gonna go walk my ass to Levi's and we're gonna go um, run some errands Also, I'm filming this on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. I just found out that they have log on the iPhone So I'm filming in log right now, which is kind of exciting um, I'm gonna edit it color graded do all of that fun stuff when I'm editing this vlog so you'll have to let me know How's it look? How's the quality? How's the sound? Does it look good? Does it look better than like, well, I doubt that it's gonna look better than my Canon uh, fucking R6, but like it may look comparable. I'm also filming in 0.5 just to get more of me in frame. I'm gonna go do some shopping. See you guys back at home right 
now. So we are back home and I have a little bit of a haul to show you guys of all the stuff that I bought at Target and at the Levi's store. Uh, so first to knock it out of the way, I bought two bundles of eucalyptus, but I already put them in the shower. So you're not gonna see those, but they smell really great and they're fresh and they're delicious. And let's just, uh, let's go to my through my little Target haul. First thing that I got from Target is some lotion. I love rubbing lotion on my body. Keeps my body moisturized. I got this Up and Up Extra Radiance Cocoa Butter Body Lotion. The next thing that I got are some shampoo and conditioner because I am almost out of my shampoo and conditioner. This is the ones that I picked up today. They are by the brand Hosk. Um, I got the, the Tea Tree Oil and Rosemary Conditioner. I also got the Nourishing Shampoo. So I'm gonna put those to good use when I shower later. And the last thing that I got from Target was a candle. So I like using candles in rooms that I spend a lot of time in just because it creates a really good ambiance. I have a candle in my room, a couple of candles in the bathroom that are almost out. So I bought this one for the bathroom specifically. It is by the Target brand Threshold, and it is a red mandarin and guava. It is one of my favorite candles that they sell there. Um, I like buying those candles because they're really affordable, they smell great, they last long, and they're just like really, really good candles to buy. So next, we are gonna go into my little Levi's haul. Um, I got five t-shirts from Levi's and they had a great sale happening um, where like a lot of the shirts were like half off after like, they're, after they've already been like halved off. So like, they had a section that was like, these are all our like, like clearance items on top of the price that is on the tag, you get 50% off of that. So the first shirt from Levi's that I bought is this one. I don't know if you guys can see. It's really cute, little like dark maroon color, purplish maroon. It's a little oversized, but I like my shirts oversized. And it has a little cool cassette, very 90s, very uh, millennial. This black one, that I like really like just cause it looks very vintage, very like motorcycle gang, even though I don't ride motorcycles. I feel like with a cute pair of jeans and a cute overshirt, this shirt would look just like really cute. The next shirt that I got was this little cutie. It looks like a hammer hitting a record, but it looks very like old school, like 1980s like graffiti and i just really like this shirt and it's white i needed some more white shirts which i'm going to show you the white shirts that i bought because i did buy two more white shirts now these were the ones that i paid full price for i think i paid like 15 bucks per shirt which honestly isn't that bad but uh, i bought this cute one that has a cactus in it as you guys know i love cactuses i have a cactus tattoo right there if you can see it and I just really love cactuses, cacti. So I got this little cacti shirt. It's white with cactuses on it. And the last shirt that I got is another white shirt, but this one kind of has more of like a sporty feel to it, a sporty like vibe. It has this really cool like greenish color in front of it, which I really like. That's my little haul. That's, that's all that I bought today from Levi's, from Target and from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna go clean my room, cause it needs a little jejin. I'm gonna go put this candle in the bathroom so that the bathroom can smell nice. And then I'm gonna go eat my salads, cause I got some salads from Salad and & Go, and I'm starving. I've been running around all morning running errands, so I'll see you guys later, whenever I come back to update you guys on my day or my Saturday. Cause today's Friday, right? I think so. No, today's, today's Thursday. Why did I think today was Friday? Never mind. I guess I, I guess we'll see what happens. I'll 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 update you guys on my life <sighs> later on. Good morning. It is what time is it? It is 9:39 in the morning right now. And I am needing coffee. I have to go to Target today. 
because I need to go pick up some dog treats for my dog and also some more apple juice because I ran out of apple juice. And I also gotta go pick up some salads for lunch today. As you guys know, I am on my salad Lighting. journey. Glass. Door. And then, while I'm at it, I have to go work out. Today I'm gonna try to get that done early just so I don't have to do it later on today because it's Friday which also means that it is first Fridays in Phoenix. And since I usually work out in downtown Phoenix, um, around the time that I go work out, which is like five o'clock in the afternoon, there's always a shit ton of traffic, shit load of cars, vendors setting up for their night. And so it gets really, really fucking packed. So, I'm gonna try to knock out everything this morning just so that I can have a free afternoon to just drive and work for a couple of hours. And then hopefully tonight I can have a semi-relaxing evening. I'm gonna make my coffee and then I'm gonna shower. So I am back from running errands and it is now time for lunch. It is like one o'clock in the afternoon and I am starving. So today we have some salad from Salad and Go put in this big ass salad bowl. Um, this is a lot of salad, I know. You're thinking, Dennis, there's no fucking way you can eat that. Well, let me tell you that I can. I can de demolish this easily and eat it and like still be hungry after, but like, you know, we're trying not to be fat asses. So I usually get my salads from Salad and Go and I create my own just because I don't really like a lot of the toppings that they have at Salad and Go. What I usually do is I just get romaine lettuce, roasted chicken, candied pecans, and that's it. I don't get the dressing, I don't get any of the extra sides and accoutrements. I add my own. I add my own dressing. I add the Panera Bread Fuji Apple Dressing. And then I also add some goat cheese because they don't have any goat cheese at Salad and Go. So I add my own goat cheese. And then on top of that, I also add like a couple of grapes in there just because I like a little bit of crunch with my salad. And that's it. That is my salad. And <laughs> I'm gonna eat it before it starts welting and before it starts getting all soggy. But uh, I hope you guys are having a good Friday. I'm having a fantastic Friday. I mean, I'm about to eat some fucking delicious salad. Mmm. Mmm. I love my good salad. I just woke up from a nap and I am feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. I haven't taken a nap in a few weeks, so this nap was much needed. I got up I got up rather early today. I got up like at eight in the morning. And then I went to go to Target because I wanted to cook today. I wanted to cook a healthy meal. So I went to Target to go get some chicken breast and I cooked. Um, a chicken and rice bowl with some teriyaki sauce. Um, I had some earlier today because I was starving and I ate like at 11 a.m. And right now it's almost six o'clock in the afternoon. This is my like second meal. So, ooh, I made myself a small bowl ooh, of chicken and rice with some teriyaki sauce and a cup of apple juice because I was craving some apple juice. I'm trying to cut soda i'm trying to cut very sugary drinks i know apple isn't apple i know apple juice isn't the healthiest but it's a start i don't want to just like go to the extreme from like juice and sodas and sugary drinks to like water like i need my palate to get used to the less sugar less carbonation so i opted in for some apple juice as a drink today um however Yesterday, I actually ended up going to First Fridays. I know I told you guys that I wanted to go work out so I can get it out of the way and not have to be around for First Fridays. But I ended up going to First Fridays anyways because my niece had an art show um, in downtown near First Fridays. And after the art show, the entire family, me, my mom, my sister-in-law, my older brother, and my niece... We all decided to go take a walk around First Fridays. And let me tell you guys, from 10, 15 years ago to now, it has changed tremendously and I hate it. 
it is impossible to walk around and like enjoy first fridays because it is packed with people to the point where like you can't even walk comfortably you gotta like bump into people you gotta say excuse me you gotta like squeeze in where you can and everything's so fucking expensive the food was fucking expensive we got some corn in a cup ten dollars for like a little bowl of corn i'm not gonna lie though it was pretty good fucking corn but me and my mom spent like 20 bucks on corn and it was just a mess it was like a fair without the rights you know it was like they had the food they had the the stands with people like you know selling art and stuff they had like live music, which was pretty fun. I hadn't actually been to a First Fridays in years. I don't think, I think the last time I went to a First Fridays was before the pandemic, like in 2018. And that's the last time that I went to First Fridays. I have not gone to one since then. And I'm kind of glad I haven't because I did not like it. I came home and like straight up knocked out cause like I was so drained mentally and emotionally from like all of those people and like trying to get through and i was so anxious that i was like i'm tired and i'm in a mood and i just want to go home and oh excuse me god and sleep so that's what i did and then i woke up early today made lunch had a bunch of leftovers reheated my leftovers and now i'm just sitting here eating my leftover chicken and rice which i'm also going to eat tomorrow and then i'm gonna go back to target sometime tomorrow or monday and go get more chicken breast because i'm trying to eat healthier so salads and chicken breast and coffee and apple juice for now <laughs> is all that i'm trying to eat and i'm also taking two, two days off of exercising just because i have worked out five miles monday through friday i've done about 20 to 25 miles this week and I need a day or two of just not working out, not exercising, cause it's it's been taxing on my body. Like my feet are starting to hurt. At, at the end of the week when I'm like done, I like, I can't walk anymore. Like my feet are just like, give us a day or two to rest. So I'm giving my body some rest. I haven't done anything today. Haven't really gone out, haven't really done anything um besides go get food cook it eat and take a nap and i'm not gonna go work out today i'm not gonna go work out tomorrow we're gonna resume our workouts monday through friday just because i think it's better to do it as a monday through friday thing instead of a saturday and sunday thing i want saturdays and sundays to just kind of chill and just kind of relax and monday through friday will be my like let's go to work let's do our thing let's edit vlogs well actually no I'm, I'm lying i have to edit this vlog tomorrow <laughs> scratch that but let's just like do all of our work on ourselves work make money monday through friday and the weekend is just for us to just relax so that's what i'm gonna do but i'm gonna finish my chicken and rice i'm gonna watch some youtube and i will see you guys later for the end of this vlog it's the end of the vlog so what is up you guys it is sunday which means that it is the end of the vlog uh it is a little bit late it's 9 46 p.m uh, i am winding down for the night i know i didn't record anything today but that's because i didn't really do anything today didn't really do anything today until like seven in the evening when my older brother my sister-in-law and my niece came and they made some food for us uh they made this like Benihana style dinner with like shrimp, steak, chicken, chow mein, fried rice. It was actually really good. I am definitely stuffed. I enjoyed it. But I also got, I, I, <laughs> I also had some cocktails. Um, I went to the store to go get some apple juice because I'm trying to not drink soda, as I told you guys. But. I saw everybody outside enjoying a beer and a michelada, and I don't like beers or micheladas. And I was like, I wanna, I wanna have a drink, I wanna have a cocktail, I wanna feel tipsy. So I went to the store and I got myself some rum. And I've made myself a couple of drinks. This is like my fourth drink now, I'm a little tipsy. But um, they didn't have the usual liquor that I buy, which is 
strawberry rum, blue curacao, and a melon liqueur. They didn't have those, so I ended up having to buy peach Malibu, which is good, it was fine. It's alcohol. Um, pineapple juice and Mountain Dew Baja Blast, which I didn't realize that they had brought back the Baja Blast cans. So I was very excited to find out that the 12 pack of Baja Blast is back. So that's what I've been doing the last like two, three hours is just having a few cocktails. This in particular right here is peach rum, pineapple juice, Mountain Dew, Baja Blast. I forgot what that other stuff is called. It's like pomegranate juice, I think. There's a specific name for it. Grenadine, I think it's what it's called. And coconut cream. So it's a little creamy, a little... The color is a little weird, but it tastes really good. And so I'm just going to edit this vlog. And then I'm going to export it and upload it for your guys' viewing pleasure. Hopefully this week's vlog was a little bit better. I feel like it's a little bit more put together. You know, there's little transitions, little title cards, little fun new stuff that I'm hoping to incorporate in future vlogs. So hopefully you like the story and how it's being told each week. This is the first vlog of many that are gonna be done this way. So leave some comments down below. Let me know what you thought about how the vlog looked and everything. Um, obviously, I'm gonna get better at, uh, you know, color grading the iPhone 15 footage. I know it's not the best, but we're learning. Aside from that, I hope that you guys enjoy the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed another week with me. It is now the end of this vlog. We're already on February 4th. It's been about five weeks now, maybe, I think, since we've started vlogging. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But I'll see you guys later. I'll see you guys next Sunday or Monday for the next vlog. And oh, um, yeah. I think that's all I was going to say. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I hope you guys are having a good day and a good week and a good month and a good year and a good life. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.